The story we're about to tell is called The Man, The Boy, and The Donkey. There was once, or there once lived a man and his son who needed to take their donkey to market because they could not afford to keep him. What do you think they're going to do with the donkey when they get to market? Uh, why do you think they, they can't afford to keep him? What do they do when they get to the market with the donkey? Do they bite his head off? No. Why are they taking the donkey to the market? I don't know. Well, why would you take a, anything to the market like a cow? <laughs> why? Because, because, because no, no animals in the market. So, what did remember Jack and the Beanstalk? Jack's mother told Jack to take the cow to the market. Why? Ah, I don't know. It was to sell it, of course. Oh yes. But he sold it for beans, the silly boy. I think it was so they're I taking the donkey to the market to sell. Oh yes. So they needed to take their donkey to the market because they could not afford to keep him. To make sure the donkey sold for a good price, they did everything that they could to make him look as smart and rested as possible. They gave the donkey a nice long bath. Then they took the, him into the stable and brushed his coat until it shone. Last of all, they gave the donkey a good meal of oats and hay to let it, and let him rest. It's quite a walk to the market, the farmer said, so he has to have a good rest. He won't be too tired after all the long journey. As they packed their bags and got ready to leave for the market, the son asked his father which of them would ride the donkey. I think that if neither of us rides him, the father replied, then the journey won't tire him out. It would be best if he could arrive at the market as fresh as a daisy. So the father led the donkey and the boy walked behind. The day was fine and sunny and they continued happily on their journey all three of them enjoying the walk in the clean fresh air they hadn't gone far when they saw a group of women hanging out there washing in the sunshine the women frowned when they saw the man and the boy and the donkey walking along the dusty road Frown, look, look at my forehead. Watch me frown. That's frown. That's a frown. When you pull your eyebrows down, look like this. Watch my eyebrows. You go down. What? Frowning. Pull your eyebrows down, and that's frowning. Okay? So when your eyebrows go down and you'll get some wrinkles on your forehead, that's called frowning. It kind of means you're not happy or you're cross. Why is the body frowning? Well, we're going to find out. The, woman, the women frowned when they saw the man, the boy, and the donkey walking along the dusty road. They look like they're leading, leaving, or heading to town. That's a long trip, said one woman. I agree, said the other woman. What sort of father allows his son to walk when he could ride? The man overheard the women speaking and felt bad. Why so bad? Because the women were uh, criticizing him for allowing his son to walk when he could have been riding the donkey. The women were very critical of the father. They were saying that the father could have done better. They were saying the father could have let his little boy ride the donkey. So basically, they were criticizing him 
and the father wasn't happy about being criticised. What sort of father allows his son to walk when he could ride? The man overheard the woman speaking and felt bad. What, why are you feeling bad? Because he's being criticised. He doesn't like to be criticised. What do you criticise? When someone's saying, uh, pointing out what you're doing wrong or what you have done wrong or pointing out the things which aren't as good as they should be, like you eat too much food or you don't brush your teeth or um, you can't drive very well. Those are criticisms. I agree, said the other one. What sort of father allows his son to walk when he could ride? The man overheard the women speaking and felt bad. To please them, he quickly lift up his little son and let him ride on the donkey. Further along the road, they met some old men digging up potatoes. Where are you going? asked one of the men, straightening his bent back. We're taking our donkey to the market, the father told him. Goodness me, that's a long way to walk, said the old man. Yes, it is, said the father, who was beginning to feel tired himself. The old man turned to the boy. Show some respect for your father, he said. You should let him ride the don This is the old man. Show some respect for your father, he said to the boy. This is the old man in the fields. So that's the old man in the field talking to the boy who's on the top of the donkey. Show some respect to your father, said the old man. You should let him ride the donkey. His legs are older than yours. Straight away, the son felt bad. So without a second thought, he jumped down from the donkey's back and helped his father up to ride instead. There's the father riding on the donkey. As they drew nearer to the market, they met some workmen repairing the road. You look hot and tired, young man, one of the workmen said to the boy. I am, the boy answered. We have traveled a long way and the day is, the day is warm. Why would you walk when you could easily fit on the donkey as well? exclaimed the, another man. That seems very foolish to me. So, to please the workman, the father shuffled up and let his son ride on the donkey here. too. The four children playing. Yes. So, to please the workman, the father shuffled up to the front of the donkey and let his son ride on the donkey too. The donkey, the donkey huffed and puffed under the weight of both of them. The boy, the father and the donkey had nearly reached the market when next they saw some children playing. The donkey was so tired from carrying the man and the boy that he soon slowed down enough for the children to gather round and stroke him. The donkey looks tired, said one of the children. I expect it is, the father said. We have come a very long way. If the donkey's tired, you should carry him, said the children. You shouldn't make him carry you. So, finally, to please the children, the father and his son lifted the donkey onto their shoulders and carried him the rest of the way to the market. This made the last part of the journey extremely difficult. The donkey was heavy and the father and the boy were hot, tired and thirsty. They looked longingly at the village pond, wishing they could stop for a drink. As they trudged on, people started to come out of their houses and stare. They pointed and giggled and laughed out loud when they saw a man 
and his boy carrying a donkey on their so shoulders. What a ridiculous sight, the old man, an old man said, pointing at them with his stick. Yeah, that's the man shouting, what a ridiculous thing. I've never seen anything like it. Chuckled another woman, holding her sides and shaking Is with laughter. Woman? Yep. I thought donkeys were supposed to do the carrying, not the other way round, someone else shouted. Him? Or oh, just stupid, chorused the crowd together. With that, Everybody watched. Everybody watching collapsed into fits of laughter, with tears streaming down their faces. Hearing all this laughter made the donkey very hap uh, angry. I'm fed up, the donkey thought to himself. I've walked miles in the heat and dust. I've been sat on and carried and laughed at. I feel like a complete fool, said the donkey. His temper rose and rose until he could control it no more. In a fit of rage, the donkey jumped up and down and kicked his heels. With that, the man and the boy and the donkey fell into the village pond with a great big splash. The townspeople stood on the bank and laughed even harder at all three of them flailing about in the water. They had never seen such a funny sight. They all laughed at them. They had never seen such a funny sight as a man, a boy and a donkey swimming together. The boy and the man weren't laughing, however. They couldn't see the funny side of it at all. The man climbed out of the water first and gave a helping hand to his son. The two of them sat on the bank, hands to dry with a... Two of them, sorry, I nearly fell asleep, didn't I? The two of them sat on the bank to dry out in the sunshine. How could this happen? The boy asked, dripping with water. When we have tried our hardest to please everyone, that's the trouble, the father answered. We have tried too hard. In trying to please everyone we met today, we have ended up pleasing none of them. There was someone who didn't mind falling asleep in the pond. Do you know who it was? Who's that? The donkey. The donkey. And that, the person who didn't mind sleeping and falling asleep, didn't mind falling into the pond, was the donkey. He was finally happy to have a rest lying in the water. And that was the end of the last story tonight. Daddy, can I listen to a song? Yes, you can. No. Um.